Hello, Grandma Daisy here. And I am in a truck. <laughs> it's Mother's truck. She has borrowed it for the day. And right now I'm in Coal Camp, Missouri. Mother needed to get her prescriptions refilled. And the pharmacy screwed up. <gasps> Imagine that. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she called them all in and they only filled one. Yeah. So I'm waiting. In the meantime, I thought I'd talk to you all and I would maybe give you a quick look at this quaint little town. I just love it here. This is one of my favorite places over here. It's the Handel Haus. This is Monday, so they're closed, but they have like little lunches and gitchy stuff and everything in there. I think I've showed it to a lot of you before. This is just the cutest little old west town. This is the most wonderful pizza place in the world. It's called Calgaro's. This guy makes everything fresh. He also charges for it, but hey, every once in a while, worth it. Thin crust, but lots of cheese and fresh veggies. And there's the Cold Camp Museum. And of course, the Cold Camp Pharmacy, which is where Mima is. Over here is the other side of the street. It's got the church down there. I forgot which one that is. Probably Lutheran around here. It's all Germans. And uh, there's the old stable. That's uh, one of the original buildings in town, to my understanding. I used to have an antique mall inside of it. I don't think there's anything in there now. And over here is the J.C. Beer Garden. <laughs> Let's not forget the beer garden. You're in Missouri. <laughs> I don't like beer. Sorry. Cool. Oh, the grind it bread and water and drink it. it. Tastes the same. So, hopefully we'll be out a little bit and we're going to be on our way to Kansas City. Because, rather than having my IRA auto-deposited as I requested and sent them all the information to auto-deposit, they sent me this huge check in the snail mail. I told them not to do that. I am surprised I got it. But it's because I met these new friends and they told me that I would soon be getting a lot of money. And I was uh, thrilled. I'm like, oh, maybe my bad luck is over. Maybe I'm gonna get a whole bunch of money, right? Yeah, I did. It's my money. It's my life savings. And it's not a lot. And it's, I can't use it. <laughs> It's got to go back into a retirement fund. But I did get a lot of money, so they didn't lie to me. Magic exists. All right, on with the show today. I hope we make it to Kansas City and back. We have to go into traffic and spaghetti bowls and all that things these old country girls don't like to drive in. <laughs> and in a truck I've never drove before. But it's really nice. I wish I had a truck. I'm jealous. This one wouldn't haul my camper, though. It's too small. I did find one the other day, though. It was an F-250 half-ton, four-wheel drive, single cab, 92 or 89 or something. Yeah. He only wanted $1,000 for it. I'm sure it's gone. And I'm sure it probably would just be another money guzzler like my van and my other truck. And then fall apart. Can't win. <laughs> oh, chicken trucks. Tyson. All over the place around here. <laughs> There's Mima coming out of the store. Yay! Did you get it? I got it. Yay! Oh my! Oh goodness, Sadie! Oh no! Are you so excited to see me and your grandma? Oh my! Oh, oh my! Oh honey, it's okay. We're home. Go on, give her a hug. Come she wants here, her give grandma. Mama a hug. Oh. oh my god. Oh my goodness. Give all kisses. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. You miss your grandma that much, huh? Yes, she does. Oh no. Oh, you're all right. She just killed everybody's ears on YouTube. She says, oh, get away, get away. <laughs> she doesn't want them near her. Go away. Grandma's mine. All mine. Nobody else's. Oh, rotten tot. You are rotten. Mm. Rotten You're tot rotten. tot. Ruth, she said, Ruth, she said, please Hi, honey. I'll pet you. Okay. Here we go, Ruth. <laughs> the baby. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, honey. We're doing so much better. Oh, look how healthy. Look how healthy. Oh, you want petted. Okay. 
She does. She wants petted. Oh. She loves to be petted. I know she does. Look at that. That's the happiest kitty on earth. I can see her. I can see her. <laughs> you happy to be petted, aren't you, sweetheart? <laughs> she says more. More lovies. <laughs> Well, there we are. Oh, I think rather than itty bitty, she ought to call her lovey lovey. Because her loves to be loved. <laughs> You're such a cutie. Turn around here and look at the camera, Tom. Oh, look how cute I am. And healthy now. She's got her medicine and food. Medicine. I talked to her like she's a baby. Medicine and food. Her's a sweetie. And she's going to be just fine. Have a good home. Oh, you're a good girl. Sadie's crying. She's so happy to see her grandma. Talk about your separation anxiety. <laughs> I got the kitty. I'm sorry, honey. I can't hold you. <laughs> Hang on. Hey, we got itty bitty. Hello, Grandma DC back. And, uh, and Scud. Scud was wanting me to pick him up. I suppose he wants a hug. Every time I start to vlog, it's always hug time. But, okay. Yes, a hug. All right. It always time for a hug. Okay. Yes, I do love you. You chicken killer. <laughs> We're going to have to stop that right now. <laughs> Hugs are not going to assuage me from being angry with you for killing chickens. No matter how many, well, maybe they will. Who knows? Hugs can cure anything. Okay. I went to the post office today, and as you know, if you ever watch me, that that is something I rarely do. <laughs> but, <clears throat> since Mother and I drove up to Kansas City yesterday, and I didn't, never finished that vlog because of traffic. Oh my goodness. I am so not used to driving in the city. I couldn't believe. Eight lanes of traffic. I used to live up there. We had like, you know, four lanes. Two over here, two over here. Now there's like five here, five there. Everything wise off and getting the wrong lane. Anyway, a couple of interesting things happen. One, I'm driving Pop's newer truck, and I have uh, never driven it before. <laughs> Not that I can't drive anything that has wheels, plural. I've never tried a unicycle. That would be interesting. So I was driving along, and we had cement blocks, road construction on one side, I had car and truck in front of me, a semi beside me, a car behind me. We're all doing 65 miles an hour. There's nothing you can do but keep up with traffic. And what do I see coming down the road in front of me? But it looked like a piece of cardboard, so I wasn't really panicked. I was like, cardboard. Then it flipped past the car in front of me and did a flip over, and I saw that it was press board. It was about a third of a sheet of plywood coming straight at me. I had two choices. Hit it slam my brakes on and kill everyone around us. I chose the first one, which was just hit it. There was nothing I could do. And so I didn't see it come out behind me in the rearview mirror. And I thought, oh, great. You know, it's hung in the, I'm probably going to see steam and smell, you know, radiator fluid and everything else. Angus, why are you crying? You got food and water. Do you hear him? He's snoring at me now. So anyway, I figured, you know, this, this was going to be in the Pops truck, but it just kept driving, and no problem. A little strange. So we get down, and it wise off, and I almost missed a split, a split and a split, because I had to get in one lane, and it didn't tell me which one, and I was trying to get to Grandview, Missouri, which would get us home then. So this car is beside me, and I'm like, oh, no, I'm in the wrong lane, and so I kind of Touch my brakes, turn my turn signal on, he sped up, I got in behind him, and there's this man, and he's pointing at the lanes, and he points at, the, at a one, and I said, no, no, I want this one, and he's like, okay, this one, and I went off with him, he pulls over, slows down, and he rolls his window down, and he says, you have a piece of plywood on the front of your truck, and I'm like, yeah, I kind of thought I might have. So the first exit we finally got to was about another two, three miles, and we exited off at uh, Truman Corners in Grandview, and as soon as I slowed down to about 40 miles an hour on the exit ramp, it went thunk, 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 and it fell off. Okay, the only damage it actually did was it broke the plastic on the front. As I, I was absolutely shocked. Unbelievable. So that was the whole story. 
Well, Mother and I stopped to eat at this restaurant in Harrisonville at 71 Highway and 7. That's all new around there. I grew up around there, but you wouldn't know it. I mean, it is all new around there now. And so, get my coffee while the dogs bark and the guineas scream because they can probably hear me talking. I'm holding something in my hand I'll tell you about in a minute. So, <laughs> I was like, let's stop. We're going to get something to eat. And mom had to go to the bathroom and hey, you know, never miss an opportunity when you're this age to go potty. So we pulled off and we went into this place and it's, uh, I forgot what it was called now, but it's the truck stop there, not the BP, the, the bigger one on the other side. And so we went in and it was your typical like truck stop, all kinds of cool stuff for sale and everything. And so we went into the bathroom and here's these stalls. And this is what, how, how big of a hick I am. I must confess to Missouri Midwest hickdom. Oh yeah, because when I walked in that stall, there was this toilet that I did not know how to use. It had gadgets and it had on off buttons and bidets and all kinds. I've never seen a bidet. I knew what one was. I watched television. Never saw one, never sat on one. And I was a little nervous about it. <laughs> and in these beautiful, beautiful stalls. And each one had its own sink. I mean, you could have like brought a washcloth and taken a bath in there, as I soon found out. And so I sat down on the toilet like you would a normal toilet, and I was a little easy about it because I was like, oh, please don't let me break this expensive looking thing. And it had all these buttons, and it was like bidet, and one of them said wash. <laughs> so I'm kind of like curious, right? So I hit the wash button, and there was just all this really weird sound. And I was just about ready to jump up because I was getting a little nervous when there was this warm water. And I'm like, what in the world? Strangest feeling I ever had. And it just kept getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay. So uh, it was interesting. Then it said dry. So I hit dry. And as expected, there was air, warm air. And I'm like, oh, pleasant. Okay. Then I look down and it says vibrate, massage. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. And beside that, it said turbo. I could just see myself getting sucked down that toilet. <laughs> just turbo. You know, and I was like, N -n -n -n. I had, did not have the nerve to try massage nor turbo. So I came out. Mom's still in the bathroom. I said, you still here? She says, yeah. I said, wait for you outside. So I went outside feeling quite refreshed and thinking we all need these in our bathrooms. This was amazing. And mom didn't come out for about half an hour. <laughs> well, it seemed that long. I shopped the whole store. And then when she finally came out, she had a big smile on her face. I'm thinking she tried massage and turbo. <laughs> so we went in to eat and I said, hey, look, did, did, did you have the nerve? And she's like, I didn't have the nerve to try massage nor turbo. And so after we left, we were in the car coming home. We said, you know, we have to come back because uh, now I have to try it. I'm curious. What the heck was it? But we both felt very refreshed and both agreed that we should have one of these in our home. So that was the toilet story. Now, what is this? You know, I've been thinking about I need to go back on a diet for my health. Now, today was the day I was supposed to get the big needle in my hip that my doctor put me off on. Um, I've been having trouble walking. She says I have that scrotodiliitis, whatever it is. No, sacroiliitis, I guess. And she says, today, you know, she put me off for a month. Well, I've been taking that CBD oil, and I've been taking ibuprofen every day, and it's getting tolerable. The pain has gone down 50%. I can tolerate that. I have a high tolerance for pain anyway. So now I'm thinking, I don't trust my doctor. I'm sorry. She has nearly killed me three times by misdiagnosing me or not diagnosing me at all. And her attitude is such that, you know, I'm just a hypochondriac and she puts me off all the time. And uh, so I'm like, well, she won't diagnose me with arthritis. She just won't say the word, although her secretary did. So I thought, you know what? You know me. I'll fix it myself. I'll just figure out what it is. I'll go back to the chiropractor. I think he knew more than she did. I, I really do. And he certainly seems to care more. That's a big plus. In health care, health care, 
care being the most important part of that word. Listen up, doctors. Okay. And nurse practitioners. If you act like you care, it makes someone feel better. If you act like you don't, it don't. I got online, and I saw these things come up on Amazon. And you're wondering, what the heck are these, right? I'm going to try to link them below. This is a Keto Cheat Sheet Magnets. That was pretty cool. They will stick. They don't stick to each other. Yeah, they do. A little bit. They're light magnets, but they'll stick on the refrigerator. And I saw these uh, when they came up, and I thought, well, you know what? Since everyone says carbs are the enemy, carbs are bad, and we all know that. I'm getting bored with it, but it's true. And, um, and we know that exercise is important, although I don't know how far I'm going to be able to walk, but I'm certainly going to try with enough painkiller and CBD oil. Oh, there's another one in here. So these are really beautiful colors. They go in the refrigerator, and I don't get them where you can see them. I want to. Oh, can you see this? Okay, they're a cheat sheet for keto, guys. It goes on the refrigerator. Now, here, this one says protein, fat, and carb counter. Oh, I almost knocked my coffee over. I updated my phone, so you'll be hearing it dinkle dinkle. I have no idea why it's Facebook or something. I don't know. Got to right ignore it. One each avocado has 14.9 carbs, 30 grams of fat, and 4 grams of protein. And it just goes down there and just names everything. Uh, man, there's nothing on here that you couldn't eat. This is all fruit. All the fruit. All the way down the line. Interesting. Mango for 0.25, one fourth of a cup, I suppose. Uh, has uh, seven carbs. That makes sense because I hate mangoes. Yeah, right. I love carbs. So if it doesn't have carbs, I won't like it. It's always the way it is. My body's trying to kill me. And, okay, here's another one. Beer. That'll interest in some of you. <laughs> I guess just regular beer. Nothing fancy beer, right? 11.2 carbs and 300 milliliters. That's probably not very much if you think about it. I'm thinking about a syringe. 300 milliliters. That's not much. Um, and it doesn't have much protein, zero fat. And then it goes down with uh, mayonnaise, and uh, which is uh, two tablespoons is 0 0.1 carb, as we know. Olive oil, zero. Sesame oil, zero. That's good to know. Did you know that apple cider vinegar in one tablespoon has 0 0.9 carb? That's shocking. Okay. Wouldn't think anything would be in vinegar. It goes on. There's just on and on and on. Anchovies, lamb, chicken. Mushrooms, onions, potatoes, everything like that. Oh my goodness, if I can get these all pulled apart, I think there's more and more and more in here. Here we go. Uh, and it's just a bunch of cheat sheets. Here's beef, veal, ribeye, chuck, blah, blah, hamburger, whatever. Um, it, it, pumpernickel bread, really? Oh, don't ask. What's the highest on here? Crackers. My favorite. I could have told you that. Oh, Rice Krispies. I also like. 22 grams. Biscuits I like. They're high. Okay. <laughs> yogurt. We all like yogurt. Yeah. Low-fat plain, 17.2. Yogurt whole milk plain, 11.4. Uh, so, I'm going to put these on my refrigerator. Actually, I'm going to be getting another set because, um, and I don't know if they're as good as this one. The first time I ordered it, I was on my phone and it came back and said, you ordered it and go through. Oops, there's a problem on our end. We're really sorry. So I went on and found them cheaper. And I ordered the cheaper ones, but then it came up and said the order went through, and so I, I'm getting both of them. Um, when the other one comes in, I'll see if it's any different, and if it's not, I may have to have a giveaway, guys. <laughs> so uh, I thought that was pretty cool. I like little cheaty things that you can just put where you can see them, and they're easy to use. And, and all of it encourages me to start dieting because I really don't want to. I, I want to be able to move, I want to be healthier, I want to be able to breathe. I mean, you can hear me in my videos. <gasps> yeah. I want to be able to, to live, I want to be able to enjoy my retirement. And in order to do that, I must lose weight. I've been trying something else to, don't, I don't believe in it, and I don't think it's going to work, but hey, you know what? If I can trick my mind into believing that something will work, and it works, even a placebo effect, I'm cool with fooling my own head. I'm fine with that. Um, and it is uh, hypnosis. And on YouTube, I've been finding these channels uh, for hip hypnosis weight loss. Weight loss, hypnosis. Just type in those two words. I particularly prefer the men's voices over the women's. I think they're more soothing. I'm sorry if that's sexist. But, you know, 
You are going down a hallway is not nearly as soothing as, yes, you are going down a hallway. You know, just bear with me there. It just sounds better. Men do better hypnosis, in my opinion. Comment below. Tell me how I'm wrong. But anyway, I would, uh, I'd like to do one of those videos, except I'd fall asleep halfway down the stairway. And the third step, you know, it's great. I've been listening to it at night. It's supposed to convince my subconscious that I want to do this and that I don't want to eat a lot and that I really don't desire pizza. I don't expect it to work, but I keep hoping it will. <laughs> God, pizza sounds good, doesn't it? And it's morning. Also, after we deposited my life savings uh, up in the city, I kept out a little and I treated myself to some electronic updates, one of which is an HD Fire tablet that I uh, ordered off of Amazon, although it was working and updating and then all of a sudden it just went black and dead. So I've got it plugged in and I hope it's charging. It doesn't have anything on it that tells me it's charging. No little, little patchy thingies or nothing, no red lights. I think I might have got a dud, but uh, when my son finally wakes up, I'll have him check it. Maybe I just thought I was doing good. I had it on, was updating, and it just went dead. So um, we'll see. I may have to send that one back. But I was going to try to get a tablet to uh, update my ability to kind of stay connected with the world because I'm out here in the middle of nowhere with the guineas. I hope I can figure out how to use it. I think I can actually record live on it and, and do some live chats. That would be awesome. I know Campy Grampy does that. And by the way, Dwayne, he included me in his family photos at the first of his, his video. I am so honored and so touched. Thank you, Dolly. And uh, I really haven't got my van back yet, but I keep dreaming about doing a little bit of traveling as soon as I can get this hip to quit hurting and I can move better then I want to come see people. That would be fun. Um, oh, and I'm doing another dumb thing. Oh, oh, well, dumb things Grandma's doing. What are you doing now, dumb thing Grandma? Um, I collected up a bunch of Sarama eggs. My little tiny miniature chickens start laying eggs, and I've got them in the incubator. I know I don't need any more chickens, but it's spring. We need chickies. <laughs> Even if I have to give them away or turn them loose. I just need baby chicks. All right. Guys, I'm going to go film the bunnies for you here at the very end. Hope you enjoy this. We'll see how the uh, little cheat sheets work on the front of the refrigerator. Should be fun. I love you all. I hope that you are gearing up to try to get healthier like I'm trying to mentally gear up to do that. We're all in the same chunky boat. <laughs> A lot of us are. Some of us aren't. But you're so lucky if you're not. It's okay, girls. I put him inside. Now Scudner can't get to you. This is your zen moment. Chicken watching. There's speckles. Good girl. Yeah. Nine of them. I got nine left. Oh. It is so good. There's got to be bugs around here. And I threw out a bunch of seeds and stuff, so they're enjoying looking through the seeds. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Go back over, huh? Good girls. Yes, if you haven't watched my channel before, these are Sapphire Blue Gems. And they are gems. Boy, do they lay eggs. I've never had chickens lay all the way through the winter. And I've never had chickens lay so many big brown eggs as this breed. They are freaking incredible. <laughs> Except my little black one over there. <laughs> she's about four years old. She's from my old flock that all died off. And she's a sex link. Little blackie. She's so cute. <laughs> oh, bowl o bunnies. There's Persephone, little Persephone Hecate. Hey, you got a black spot on your back? Or was someone pooped on you, I think. Looky down here. I think that's fat so near the food bowl. Now look, they're already litter box trained. They're going in their food. 
Wrong spot, guys. <laughs> Hello, Mama. That's a good girl. Who's over here in the corner? Oh, look at you. What are you guys doing? You all doing good over there? Everybody happy? Oh, gonna come see me? Come on, you can come see Grandma. It's okay. Mama's just hanging out over there. Now we can get a shot of her under. There she is. There's Mama. Just hanging out. <laughs> oh, I think that's a little fatso. He's coming up over there. Oh yeah, that's fatso. I'd like to keep him. And little Persephone Hecate, who looks like her mama in the bowl. Oh, I'm going to nibble on my foot. Hi, BB. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, couldn't give bunnies away. Tried and tried. Nobody wants bunnies for Easter. That's such a shame. Because you're so cute. What is Grandma going to do with them? You don't want to know. Now, my cleaning girl, as soon as she gets back from having surgery and everything, uh, she wants to take Mama and most of them. And she has a guy who... Uh, who takes them. Let's leave it at that. Okay. In the meantime, Grandma's going to love on them and play with them. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, I need some bunny hugs. Are you going to come give me some bunny hugs? Yes, you are, aren't you, Fatty? Fatty's a good boy. Trying to chew your way out after you heard what's going to happen, right? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. If you manage to chew your way out and get away, I won't complain. <laughs> Jailbreak. Run for it, boys and girls. Run for it. I can see why my neighbors turned them loose now. Although I don't want to do that because the coyotes. No, but then at least they stand a running chance, right? You thirsty? You can get drinkies? Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Rabbits like to drink out of the chicken nipple water. Keeps their water clean. I like it too. <laughs> Good job. 